Okay, so today I have a little bit of a different video. Uh, this one, uh, to say the least, I've wanted to make for the better half of half a decade. This just came in the mail. I'm only holding it like this so you can see most of the packaging. This is a uh, Playrail uh, Twilight Express with the EF, it's the EF65 version. Because there's the EF81 version, which is a lot more common. Look at this packaging. This is just just some of this box art alone is enough to go into an art museum. Of course, I have no idea what any of this means, but you know, here's a let's look at the whole train. That's what we get. Just the engine, two cars. There seems to be a front coupler, so you can run it either in tandem or just have that one pull it. Same as the, uh, the front here. I'm pretty sure this is about what it says. This is about the train itself. Uh, long story short, the Twilight Express was created in 1989 and it was discontinued in uh, 2013, I'm going to say. It ran briefly under a different name and then it completely transferred, you know, like what kind of train. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably find an image of the new train and put it in here. So just beware. Okay, flip it over to the back. Battery installation instru instructions, warnings, uh, probably just contact info. Ooh, uh, the, the ends. I can't I can't show the ends. Hold on. Okay, so here's uh, both the ends of the box. They're. Uh, yeah, they're the uh, the same exact thing. I suppose it's time to get it open. So, yeah, let's get it open. I feel like I'm going to be scrutinized if I post this online of me trying to open this. Purely because of how these things basically don't exist in uh, in international sites. Like eBay, there was two of this version on eBay. There was this one and another one from the same seller. Which I probably won't put a link in the description for. Because it's probably been sold. People go crazy for this. So we got, ooh, styrofoam, my favorite thing ever. And we got... Out. Ooh, there's a card. It's a manual. Let's let's get the box out of the way. As beautiful as it is, I'm sorry, but not right now. Here's the whole thing. You know what? Let's take it out and then examine it. So rubber band. I always wish that they used rubber bands. At least that way, it's a little more sustainable, and you you don't have to throw out all the packaging. I'm probably going to be keeping the packaging purely because this is just so hard to find. So let's take it out one part at a time. Here is the end car. Nice sticker. Decently applied paint job. I believe this is supposed to be the power car. Um, mm -hmm. The, the powered car because the locomotives themselves didn't power the train but much rather a uh, like like a steam heated car well not steam heated but you know um if i'm correct these used pretty similar power cars as to what the uh, the hokuto say set train sets used in real life but i'm surprised play rail has kept this uh this age old one this age old one around next we got a, uh, the, 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 the middle coach, the middle car. Oh, something I wanted to check real quick. Are these, yeah, these are the same color. I thought that this one might have been, like, sun damaged or something. But it looks like this is also supposed to be, like, like a car that's at the other end. I don't know why they didn't make these the same shape then. 
I don't know. I, I, I guess it would be a little, a little hard to go and change a uh, a bit of an older mold. It's lovely, lovely sticker, lovely sticker right there. It's just ever so much off. But you know, if you're a kid, you're not gonna look at that. You know, bro, it's the Twilight Express. And onto the part that I bought this specifically for the locomotive. Look at that drum head. Look at this. A little stiff. Uh, there might be something inside there. I gotta pop this open a little bit. See, so it's empty windows. Basically the same exact detail on the other end, except uh, no no drum head. Same as on this side. Is there? No, there is not. Okay, I swear I saw a spot on the paint. You see, those are... There's no... Okay, there's something in the way of this window. But all the promo images are three-quarter shots like this, so you can't tell if that's hollow or not. Only on, on the ends is it hollow. Uh, on the underside, there's the uh, front coupler for, you know, if you want to run more than one of these, I guess. They only made 1124, not uh, anything else. So yeah, let's go over to the, to the white space and see what they look like. One last thing I forgot to mention was the, um, was this collectible card, or whatever they're called. I can't read any of it as fortunate or unfortunate as it is you can pause it and take a gander if you know a person or two that knows what this says you know hit me up <laughs> so yeah on to the white space okay so here is the entirety of the train honestly it it looks pretty good I have noticed a little bit of paint bleed. Uh, the drum head sticker is applied greatly, along with uh, most of the print. Uh, some of the striping on the ends is a little messed up, but that's okay. The, uh, the sticker is applied quite nicely, especially on the back. It's just ever so much crooked, but I'm guessing that they had to really push these out in production, because, you know, who wouldn't want one of these? Uh, one last thing before we get to uh, putting a battery and running this. I've made a discovery that that the EF65 and the EF60 share the same chassis, or at least a very rough variant, because look, they're, they're exactly the same. Mine, I lost, the, the battery cover is lost in a desk, but I will I'll eventually find it. But these are, these are the same exact shell, like the, uh, the throttles here are in the same exact position, so it's... It's basically the same thing. Hmm. Fun fact. So here it is. I just got it set up on a little layout I, uh, I put together the other night. And uh, yeah, let's see it run. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, hopefully next video you'll see some model trains instead of toy trains. Uh, yeah, goodbye. Okay.